Hi guys! Have you ever wondered how to centralize and manage all your camera's feed effortlessly? And that's where an NVR comes in. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through the process of adding an NVR to your existing IP camera system. And if you're ready to take control of your IP camera system, increase efficiency and enhance your civilian capability, let's get started. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will answer your questions as soon as possible. An IP camera is a network-based civilian solution that uses digital video cameras to capture and transmit video footage over an IP network. And it offers benefits including increased flexibility, scalability, and ability to monitor your premise remotely. And NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It is a specialized device designed to work seamlessly with the IP camera. It serves as a central hub for managing, recording, and storing video footage that capture by the cameras in an IP camera system. And by integrating an NVR into your existing IP camera system can bring ranges of benefits, including simplified video management, increased storage capacity, enhanced video playback or analysis, and also centralize your system management, provide you with a more comprehensive and security solution. But with all kinds of NVRs available in the market, which one to choose? So now I'm going to give out some more factors that you should consider about before you choose the NVR for your situation. First, determine your storage and recording requirements. You should consider your storage need on the desired retention period for the video footage. Also calculate the amount of storage required per camera and taking into account factors like resolution, frame rate, and compression setting. Second, look for features like continuous recording, motion trigger recording, and ensure that NVR can support the desired recording mode and allow customization of recording parameters. Last but not least, consider the number of channels that can be supported by the NVR for your camera system. Also, the scalability options for the future expansion. So now, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the setup for today. So today I'm going to connect to three IP cameras at the edge using the 16-port High Power Managed PoE switch and this 32 channels NVR. So let's take a look at the NVR. It can connect up to 32 cameras and making great use of video local storage, event playback, and live monitoring for small to medium-sized commercial, such as restaurants, store retails, and storehouse, etc. It features excellent compatibility for various on WIP compliant IP camera with up to 5 megapixel and H.265 video compression technology, allowing high resolution with low bandwidth for giving more storage space, so the video would be remain more lasting. And let's turn to the back. We have a VGA and an HDMI port, so you can connect to two monitors at the same time. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So now we are going to do the connection, but before that, make sure you choose a location that allows easy access to the NVR for maintenance, configuration, or troubleshooting purpose, and ensure there's a nearby power outlet. And maybe you should consider putting your NVR in a locked cabinet or dedicated server room for protection. So first, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our router to the NVR. As you can see, the NVR is already connected to the monitor using the HDMI cable. And using another Ethernet cable to connect our router to the 16-port high-power PoE switch. Let's plug it in for data. And since I'm going to connect the three IP cameras at the edge, I'm just going to plug in three Ethernet cable for this side. Three. 
Okay, so we're done. And now let's move on to the edge. We're going to connect to the PTZ camera, the bullet camera, and the 4K Doom camera. Just uh, simply plug it in because it's using PoE technology to provide both power and data at the same time. And also, you can choose manually configure your IP camera or utilize DHCP to assign IP address within a special range. Now, as you can see, the camera is already alive. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is or a live video. So now I'm going to show you the NVR setting. So now I'm going to show you the features that are offered by the NVR. First, we need to right click and let's go into the main menu. This is the playback option. So there's a face search. Let's check out the face search. Let's click on this one and you can see this is my face. And by clicking it, it will show you the video of me and my colleague is drinking water over here. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go back. And also you have smart search. You can choose the one that you want and the smart express. And let's go back. This is the record configuration. You can choose the channel, your camera, and the length of the time that you want to record and also the period of time you want to record. And next, this is the display. And in this option, you can choose the resolution that's available by your monitor. And we have the alert, we have in the intelligent alert. You can choose the alert function and also the traditional alert. When the video is blind cover, it will have a buzzer alarm comes up. And here's are the, some of the advanced feature that offered by the NVR. And pretty much it. And here's some more information that you should keep in mind for the NVR. First, make sure your NVR's firmware is up to date and maintain a regular maintenance. Second, ensure your IP camera compatible with NVR supported protocol or standard, such as on WIF and RTSP. Next, Check if your network infrastructure can handle additional bandwidth requirement of the NVR or the IP cameras. And sometimes you might need to use a separate network or VLAN for your IP camera system to ensure network security and minimize interface with other devices. And here's a video on how to set up a separate network for IP camera system using the dual NIX NVR. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.